Okay, so tonight for homework for history, you're gonna do pages seven and eight in the workbook, and all the information for it can be found in your textbook on pages eight, nine, and 10. So I'm gonna do section three for you, you're gonna do section four, and then I'll do section five with you, you're gonna do section six, because it's all about the same. So first of all, it says section three, so it goes with cave paintings of humans. It says, before reading, label three details in the image that may offer clues about why the artist created the painting. So what do I see there? It said to label them. So I'm gonna draw a line here. And to me, that looks like a horse. So I'm gonna ride in horse. This looks like a person or a human. So I'm gonna ride in person. And it looks like he's holding a spear. Now I'd recommend writing down here so you're not in the way of your other things. So I'd write spear. Then it said, number two, write a hypothesis stating why you think the artist created this painting. Now we often think of, the de of a hypothesis as an educated guess, but a better definition of it would be a proposed explanation for, to explain something. So I'm going to, ex I'm gonna propose a possible explanation about why this was created. And I said, the artist created this painting to show how people hunted. Then it says, now go ahead and read section three and label any additional important items. So I went ahead and read this and I think I about covered it because it says that he's holding a spear, riding on the backs of animals and the animal resembles a horse. It does say the legs of the animals make them appear in motion. So if I wanted to add something, I could say like um, in motion, something like that. Okay, just to add one more thing, but it's not a big deal. And now number four, why do social scientists think the painting was created? It says at the bottom, the artist may have been, uh, let's see, many social scientists believe the painting was created as part of a hunting ritual. So I'm gonna put that, okay? I wrote something so, like they believe it was created as part of a hunting ritual. And that's how you do it. Now you're gonna do number four. It says, before reading, label two details in the image that may offer clues. So you do this before you read section four, cave paintings on animals. So what do you see in the picture? Look for a couple of things. It says label two details. So look for two things, maybe two of the animals, two of something else. And then it says, write a hypothesis. Why do you think this person created it? And then you're gonna go ahead and read it. And if there's anything mentioned that you missed, you can add it, you can label it, maybe something that you didn't notice. And the last question says, why do social scientists think this painting was created? If you read the last paragraph, they mention some possibilities. You just need to write one on. Uh, section five is over here, cave paintings of shapes and handprints, and then section six, which is on page 10. You do it the exact same way. I will go ahead and do section five with you. Before reading, label three details in the image that may author clu clues about why the artist created. I could created. be way off base here, because again, I haven't read it. So I see something that looks like hands. I see some animal type things. I don't know, it looks like a dog. And I don't know what this is supposed to be, maybe a tornado. So I came up with tornado, dog, and hands. So write a hypothesis, an explanation why you think the artist created it. After so thinking about it a little more, uh, my hypothesis, my proposed explanation is that the artist is describing the creation of the earth because it looks like, remember they believed in many gods back then. So maybe the hands are the many gods and they're creating the animals and using a tornado to create it. Now I'm gonna actually read the cave painting of animals no, the cave painting of shapes and handprints and see what After I After I read the information from section five, I was a little bit off on that one, that's okay. They meant I'm added artists because they mentioned that the handprints they believe were from different artists as a way to sign their name before writing was invented. And instead of tornado, they said that geometric shapes like circles were very common. So I just wrote shapes. 
And then it says, why do social scientists think that this painting was created? They, they believe it was used for special gatherings. And then it leaves the last section. I'm gonna talk kind of fast because my battery is about to go dead on my phone. You do the so same thing. So on the last section, section six, you do the same thing. Look at the picture, maybe label. It says two details, two things for what you see there. And then write why you think it's a tool. Write a hypothesis why you think the artist created this tool. What's it used for? And then read it and add any other details they mention, and then answer the question why the tool was and created. It explains why the tool was created at the bottom of that set of section six on page 10, right down here in the last paragraph. All right, good luck guys. Remember, I'm here if you have questions, you can just email me.